I am standing here in the middle of like millions of dollars. In the background there are the 300 SL, which also I'm gonna drive one, which mine is like orange red kind of. They explained me the car already before. I yeah, was talking a lot with Ellen because she has already four years experience here and it's gonna be super cool, I think. We just did the first practice session, so it's like how one of the tests goes, which is practice it, let's say, but in an easy kind of way. And then we went out on the street, on the normal street, where all other cars are driving as well, because that's actually also how the Millimilia is going to be. But I actually also nearly crashed, I'm not going to tell this Mercedes, because otherwise I'm not allowed to drive. <laughs> So you really have to smash the brakes so it stops. So I was like, woof, this is a close one. <laughs> but yeah, everything is okay. The car is still perfect. We are here now in the city of Brescia and um, yeah, we're standing right in front of the Teatro where it's like the hospitality of Mercedes and we just got the last fixes on the car and like yeah last studies of the road book and then we're gonna have we start at 30 I think I'm so lucky to have Ellen because otherwise I think I would be completely lost but she's like yeah we do this we do that and I'm like okay I just drive <laughs> Ellen are you ready very much ready so we are about to start. Millimilia is on the way and we're gonna go over the ramp and I can't wait! Incredible, but the first day is over already. Um, we had seven hours of driving, and to be honest, it didn't feel so much. So I was so in love with the car. It was so cool. The weather was beautiful, and um, we had like three tests already today. We we're really happy. It was super cool. You know, you can drive and overtake everyone, and everyone is moving away, and you could just go, and it's so so cool. And then you have the police in front who are like going with you through a city, and everyone is just waiting because you're more important. Than Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Tomorrow is going to be really early actually. We have our start at 8.24, so we need to leave the hotel at 7.45, which means waking up really early. Um, yeah, you know, it's midnight now, I have to sleep. I need to rest to be really fast tomorrow and do everything right. So have a good night and see you tomorrow. We're 131 and we're actually quite happy with it. You know, you got the results from yesterday. Yeah, this is all Mercedes, like so from day one. You see, we are 131 and actually because we completely failed one um, test, we're pretty good actually still. So, I love that we are quite confident. Ich habe mir das erste Mal geholt, habe mit 
der 9.8, der Rote, ja. der ist ganz vorgefahren, der ist als letzter dran. Ja, macht aber nichts. Das löst sich hier vorne auf, also das ist kein Problem. We have a time control and you have to be on spot in the minute. There's always a little bit of a hustle. Wartet mal! Uh, okay, it's always a little bit of a hustle. Yeah. How's your morning going? Good? Yeah, I think quite good. Just no. like the way you had to do 42 because the British power was this was kind of difficult. That was weird. Yeah, because we had like two things working and one was saying perfect, the other was saying too fast. So we, we didn't even know what that thing was. We had no <laughs> idea what it was, what speed we were supposed to yeah. go out at anything. We were like, what, what is going fun? on? Come on, let's get lost in the moment. We had lunch now and now we're gonna head to Rome. Six hours to go. <laughs> but maybe we're gonna switch until now I was traveling and we think but it's cool, you know. Cruising around through Italy on bumpy roads. <laughs> in a really old car. <laughs> <laughs> 18 years, 2 million euro car and driving like crazy but very controlled. I'm super happy, really. I'm feeling a change coming. I'm feeling a change coming. We went from Rome to Bologna today and it was crazy. There was one stage where we had to get into time control which was so tight that we... Well, actually it's the truth when I'm saying we had to race. Not in any F3 race, I was sweating so much. Or oh, like, I think my heart rate was heart rate was like at 190 the whole time.
have Sofia by my side because she did very, very well. Very, very well. And uh, when I was on the co-driver's seat, I could exactly feel what she wanted to do next. And it was a very good teamwork in the car. A little worry over nickels and dimes Or a nine to five grind I gotta get loose sometimes Good morning. Uh, we have the last day now actually and it's raining. First time that it rains but it's raining quite bad. And um, yeah, I had a quite bad night because my neck is hurting so much. But Ellen is going to drive to the first test and then we have like I think a total of 350 kilometers or so. And then we are fresh here and it's the end of the Miller Mill year 2019. I loved it but now we're going to focus because we have P106 and we got six places to go and then we're in the top 100. It's going to be fucking difficult but we're going to make it, I hope. Rainy day, day four. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Oh, you gotta go, go, shake it up. This rhythm is bringing on the heat. Here to get you on your feet. So let's take it to the street. And yeah, it was cool, it was super cool. And now it's raining actually, but the car is in one piece. We arrived, I don't know where we ended up. I hope, I really hope, top 100, but I'm not sure. And yeah, that's it. It was so cool. I'm always forever gonna do it again if I have the possibility to. Shake it up, shake it up.